So you've heard about ChatGPT, but how can you actually use it to your advantage every single day? Here's how. Hey, and welcome back to the channel where we're giving tech tips, tricks, and reviews to help people with hybrid lifestyles live and work smarter. So if that sounds like you, consider subscribing. Chat GPT and AI in general seems to be the topic on everyone's lips at the moment. We've all seen the stories about entire books that have now been published, written by AI. It's starting to creep more and more into our daily consciousness. But in your everyday life, there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be taking full advantage of these types of tools now. Instead of just repeatedly asking Chat GPT and trying to get it to admit that machines are taking over the world. <laughs> These are some actually useful tips, and I'm gonna give you five incredible ways to take full advantage of ChatGPT in your everyday lives. And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you one extra bonus fun tip as well. Let's kick things off with number one. My first ChatGPT tip is to use it to help you make lists. There are two main kinds of lists that I've started using ChatGPT for in my everyday life. These are shopping lists and packing lists. I think the mistake some people are still making is they're using ChatGPT a bit like Google, searching for generic queries. But the brilliant thing and the true power of ChatGPT is that you can make your queries ultra specific and personalized to your own situation. So instead of just asking it for a packing list for your next trip, be ultra specific about where you're going, how long you're going for, and then you'll get an ultra personal personalized response back. To give you an example, you could ask something like, give me a packing list for a two day trip to Stockholm in February where I'm only able to take one bag. Then the packing list that it comes back to you with is gonna be tailored to the weather in that location at that time of year. It's gonna factor in you've only got one bag. It's gonna factor in you're only traveling for two days. This is the kind of response that you can't get from a search engine like Google, but you can get from an AI chatbot like ChatGPT. So take full advantage, be specific with your queries, and you're gonna get some really powerful results back. Part B of using ChatGPT to help you make lists is for shopping lists. Hear me out here because I know it's not that difficult to make a shopping list, but seriously, this tip is really gonna help you. Again, it comes down to being really specific with what you ask the AI. The thing that's helping me out time and again is if I'm out shopping and I know I wanna make a very specific meal for a very specific number of people, and I just need to know the ingredients to make that dish. For example, want to know the exact ingredients and quantities to make a gluten-free beef wellington for 11 people? Put that into ChatGPT and it's gonna give you the exact quantity quantities to make that exact dish for that exact number of people. And it will also give you a recipe as well if you want to follow that recipe. One thing I really hate when shopping for ingredients for a certain number of people is trying to work out how to convert a recipe for four people into quantities for 10 people. It does all that work for you and you can get so specific with the recipes as well. If you wanna make a gluten-free beef wellington with a side of tomato consomme for 56 people, you can ask that exact question to ChatGPT and it's gonna give you that exact answer back. Absolutely brilliant. Right, we're on to tip number two of the best everyday uses for ChatGPT. Continuing on the food theme is to use it to help you pick a restaurant. When you're on holiday or even just visiting a new town or city, we've all gone to Google, we've looked at TripAdvisor to check the reviews on different restaurants. It can get quite confusing doing that because TripAdvisor will mix in greasy kebab vans that just happen to have great five-star reviews from drunk people at 4 a.m. along with genuine restaurants. So how do you actually know where to go? I have discovered you can use ChatGPT for this exact question. Tell it your location, again, be really specific. Ask it to find the best restaurant in your specific location. You can further specify what cuisine you want to eat, for example, making sure the results it returns are genuine restaurants. And all the recommendations that I've tried based on asking ChatGPT this question have been really good. And I've discovered places I didn't know about otherwise. This obviously also applies to bars, coffee shops, places to have a drink. Again, the key is to be really specific with your question. Tell it exactly what you want, and it's going to give you exactly what you want. Okay, tip number three, and clearly I've got food on the brain because my third best everyday use for ChatGPT is to use it to help you out in the kitchen. And where ChatGPT really comes into its own in the kitchen is when you're starting to get down to the bare bones in your fridge and cupboards, you're trying to think of what food to make and you've got some ultra specific ingredients that you want to combine together into a dish, but you have absolutely no idea how to do that. You can go to Google and it might return you results that have one or two of those ingredients in, but if you really wanna use up everything you've got before it goes off, ChatGPT is the place to go. You can have four seemingly completely random unrelated ingredients. You can ask it to give you a recipe, including those ingredients, and it's gonna come back normally with a pretty good suggestion. So got nothing but peanut butter, chickpeas, and bacon in stock? No worries at all. Ask ChatGPT for a recipe with those ingredients, and it's gonna give you back that ultra personalized recommendation. The next way I think you should be using ChatGPT as a kitchen assistant is to ask it to give you alternatives to ingredients. If a recipe calls for soy sauce, but you're out of soy sauce, 
ask ChatGPT to give you all the alternatives to soy sauce and it's going to give you some great suggestions back. Another way to take that further is to use it to find alternatives to people's dietary requirements. So need a dairy-free alternative to sour cream? Ask ChatGPT. Okay, moving swiftly on to the fourth way I think you should be using ChatGPT in everyday lives, and this is for planning routes. No, I don't mean using it like a sat-nav to get from point A to point V. <laughs> point V? <laughs> to get from point A to point B. I'm talking specifically when you're traveling, you wanna do some sightseeing. You wanna take in all the important sites that somewhere has to offer, but do it in a sensible route that doesn't involve backtracking, retracing your steps. ChatGPT, again, is brilliant for this due to how specific you can be with your search. There's a theme here. If you wanna plan the best route to go sightseeing around Budapest, starting from Andrasi Avenue, taking in certain specific sites that maybe you've heard about you wanna see, it's gonna give you a tailored sightseeing route back. If you wanna take in specific restaurants, you've heard of along the route, you can incorporate those as well. The more specific you get, the more powerful the answer is you get back. So keep adding layers to your question that personalize it to you. You can even ask for the route to start and finish at your specific hotel. Okay, everyday use number five for ChatGPT. And this is the last one before we get to the bonus tip at the end that you're not going to want to miss. And this tip is to use ChatGPT to give you instructions for things. If you've been wanting to build that brick pizza oven in the garden, but haven't known where to start, ChatGPT is an amazing place to start. You can ask it for instructions on anything, whether that be building something or fixing something or how to do something. Again, remember to be as specific as you can. So instead of asking it just how to build a brick pizza oven, you might want to ask it how to build a dual brick pizza oven in a small garden. You can see as you add layers and layers to that question, how you can get a more powerful response back that's not gonna be generic like something you'd find on a search engine. Or to use another recent example of mine, you might wanna find out how you can fix a leaky radiator, but how you can fix a leaky radiator with no tools and only 20 minutes to spare. If you're looking for instructions on how to do anything, I genuinely wouldn't go to Google as my first port of call now. I would always go to ChatGPT and ask my specific question to get my specific answer. Right, I promised you a bonus tip, and this is maybe less of an everyday practical one, but really quite a fun one, especially if you're with friends or family, you want something fun to do after dinner, and that is to use ChatGPT to write your quizzes. Everyone loves a good quiz, but the main problem with trying to do a quiz with your friends or family is that you've either got to search for one on Google where the quizzes are quite generic and not that great, or you've got to rely on someone else who's coming to the party to plan a quiz for you, which is a lot of work. Unless you're the kind of person who really enjoys putting a quiz together, there's no need to actually do that work because ChatGPT can do it all for you. You can ask it something as simple as write me a quiz and it's gonna write you a simple quiz. But again, where it gets more powerful is you can tell it what kind of quiz you wanna have. So if you wanna have a 20 question quiz all about cheese, you can ask it for that. You can take it a step further if you like. So if it's someone's birthday, you can ask for a 20 question quiz where all the answers have that person's name in the answer. It takes a matter of seconds and you've got some fun for after dinner. Birthdays, gatherings, Christmases, ChatGPT will give you an instant quiz. We've come to the end of my tips to get the most out of ChatGPT in your everyday lives. These are things that seriously you can go away today, start using, and get that extra couple of percent out of AI that you weren't getting out of it before. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you like the video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Next week we've got a video coming that's going to be created entirely using ChatGPT, so you're not going to want to miss that. Thanks and see you on the next one.